There you go. How American does that make you feel? <laughs> really American. <laughs> really American. <laughs> Lige nu fylder USA og Trump sindssygt meget i medierne på grund af midtvejsvalget. Trump deler virkelig vandene, men det er altså ikke kun ældre og hvide konservative mænd, der støtter ham. Jeg har fundet en ung homoseksuel fyr, der støtter Trump, og det fatter jeg ærligt talt ikke særlig meget af, da Trump og hans folk ikke ligefrem kæmper deres sag. Derfor er jeg på vej til det sydlige USA for at høre, hvordan det lige hænger sammen. Hey, my friend. How are you? Colton Buckley, good to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're a long way from home, huh? Well, I am. That's only I am. It's a little chilly. Welcome to Northwest Oklahoma. I like your boots and your hat. Yeah, this is the typical wear for somebody that lives out in this part of the country. Yes, sir. Well, how about we go grab a cup of coffee in our local cafe? Sure, Does that sure, sound good to that. you? Yeah, yeah. Alrighty. So you're a big Trump supporter? I am. Yeah. yeah. The interesting thing about me is, you know, I grew up in a very Christian, uh, rural household. Uh, grew up in the country, grew up, you know, on the King James Version of the Bible in a box of 12-gauge shotgun shells, uh, carry a gun my entire life, support Republican principles. I'm also openly gay, which is interesting in a rural community and interesting in Republican circles, but I believe that both can be mixed in the idea that uh, I'm proud of my country and what it stands for, and I believe we need to be getting back to the basics uh, of what our country stands for based on the Constitution. Well, good morning. How are you? Hi. Does everybody here in this town know that you're only gay? Like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah okay. everybody knows whether they like it or not. Okay, and what about the whole same-sex marriage? What What's your opinion on that? Yeah, so I'm uh, not in in favor of same-sex marriage. You're that not in makes favor? Me, no, it makes me kind of one of the more uh, far right-wing uh, gay Republicans. Um, to me, from a biblical perspective in, in my religion, marriage is between one man and one woman, and that's how I see it. If you meet a nice guy and want to marry him you 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 wouldn't you wouldn't marry him. no no i wouldn't use the term marriage you know i think the government it's really a debate of semantics and wording you know everyone should be given a union like a lot of european countries do uh, rather than a marriage uh, what's your thoughts about uh, some of trump's people saying kind of negative things about the whole gay community. At the end of the day, I still live my life. I'm not going to allow someone a thousand miles away in Washington, D.C., who may not, you know, uh, like that I'm gay, have any uh, inflection on, on how my day goes, right? I'm going to wake up on the right side of the bed, and I'm going to go to bed on the right side of the bed. Those comments don't affect me because I look at what they do. What do they do from the business perspective? What do they do uh, when it comes to taxes and things that actually matter? I believe in the Second Amendment and the right to constitutionally bear arms in the United States. Uh, I understand it's very difficult in Denmark for someone to um, own a, a handgun or but really a rifle is, yeah, or yeah, yeah. a, sh- a I don't, shotgun. Yeah. I don't know anybody that, who, uh, who owns a gun. Yeah. Or... Well, I've got at least one for everybody at this table, so we'll be all right. <laughs> Actually, I never shot a gun before really? in my whole life. Well, yeah. today we may change that. All right. What should we do now? Well, let's go shooting, but first I got to get some rounds. This is a pharmacy and a gun shop. Yeah, yeah. So we'll walk in and they kind of sell everything that a local home goods store would. I assume y'all don't have a place like this in Denmark where you can we don't. pick up medicine and buy a handgun all at the same time. <laughs> yeah, those Winchesters will be fun. How many are in that there? 50? Yeah, I think that'll do us. No. So Colin and Curly, no one's been spiller and no one betroner to them stole the good skid menu. No more smile. Thank you again. Thank you. All right, so this is it, Colton. This is where you shoot, right? Yeah, yeah, the weather's kind of bad, so we had to change, <laughs> put jackets and raincoats on, but this is kind of where we're at. So here's a, a Glock, right? So this is more of a, a, a pocket pistol that mm-hmm. you would carry in shorts uh, with a T-shirt if you're going for a walk or you're at the house. Have you ever worn shorts and T-shirt and a gun? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, okay. And then when the government comes, <laughs> I've got an AR-15. So this is kind of your Christ. your standard. And with your American um, flag right there. Yeah, with the American flag. Do you always have one in your car? And... Most of the time, yeah. When I when I travel, you just never know when you might be in a situation. Uh, and at the end of the day, if it's me versus somebody else, it's going to be me that's going home. Could you imagine not having guns? Living a life without firearms or being able to own firearms is like living a life without America. Okay.
Oh, fuck. Velkommen til USA, mand. Nu kører vi. <laughs>